Just wanted to make a blog real quick. It's um three something in the morning and uh, I can't sleep. Remember I was telling you about my teeth and how messed up they are. Um I'm having some tooth pain in this area this tooth here which I'll show you real quick the front of it is gone and um, thank God for brushing because food does get in there and cause me pain I um, regularly use Listerine and salt rinse and um, I don't even use regular toothpaste on my teeth um, because of the sugar content or artificial sugar and um, I usually um, brush with the salt rinse and um, a homemade toothpaste that I made <clears throat> Uh, so I'm having some pain here and I can't sleep. Not just that, but I have the mild fever. And uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see a little bit of like a butterfly rash forming right here. From the lupus or the fibro or both or I don't know which. To be honest feeling pretty crappy um, <laughs> my hair looks funny whatever um, as I was saying before I remember telling you guys that I struggle with sleep um, usually what ends up happening is um, I'll wake up around between 7 and 9 a.m. after being awake till like 3 or 4 a.m. My daughter, she's 9, she wakes up around anywhere from 3.30 to 5.30 in the morning because she crashes so early in the evening. So she ends up <coughs> spending some of her morning by herself. Um, which makes me feel like a bad mom. I try whenever I can to actually be up with her. Oh, dude, my nose ring looks like a pimple. Look, it's a bad blackhead. Oh, no, it's my nose ring. Anyway, and, sorry. And, um, like I said, it makes me feel like a really bad mom that I can't sleep like a normal schedule. Anyway, so I'll wake up between 7 and 9 a.m. usually. Sometimes I am up when she gets up. It just depends. It's like my sleep schedule goes... You get the picture. Up and down and up and down. It's never like steady, no matter what I've done. I've tried um, natural sleep aids like certain teas. I've tried actual um, sleep aids. Um... Not very many, to be honest, because I don't like pills. I've tried um, going to bed early, and then I end up waking up three, four hours later. Um, so, yeah, I'm debunking all the myths of, you know, leave your phone alone. And uh, go to bed early. You need to be on a normal schedule, you know, stupid shit like that that people say. Um, because I've struggled with this my whole life, as I've stated many times before. Um, so then I'll be up for, I don't know, two, three hours and get tired. So I have to lay down for half an hour to an hour again. And that cycle goes on usually throughout the day up to three hours, have to lay down for half an hour to an hour. 
um, oh, sorry, I got a headache too, and um, that combined with trying to homeschool and trying to do my schoolwork too is not easy. <laughs> um, I'm always exhausted. I I do take um, vitamins and eat pretty dang healthy. Um, for instance, what I had earlier, sorry, what I had earlier was um, cabbage soup um, and it was really good and sorry if I'm talking slow, I just feel out of it. I'm so tired. And um, then later, and it was, it was just like a half bowl because <laughs> I, I can't eat big portions. And then a couple hours later, two, three hours later, I had um, some oatmeal with some strawberries and some flax seed and chai seed in it. No added sugar, no butter, just the oatmeal, the fruit, and the two seeds. And that was actually really good. I love health food. And, um, so, yeah, I'm struggling right now because I'm really tired and I can't seem to sleep even if I put my phone down. Um, I know that my daughter will wake up within, between now and the next couple of hours. Probably just as I'm able to sleep very frustrating for me and I'm sure not very fun for her um, but this is how my life goes always tired struggling to sleep um, I'm running out of time because I usually try to keep the videos at nine minutes and no more um, so I wanted to talk about I'm on this will be my second day on it's supposed to be my third day, actually, but yesterday I forgot to take my Wellbutrin. So it's my third day on well well, tired, Wellbutrin, and um, I'm finding that the cravings for smoking are lessening, so that's good. I'm hopeful for a good out outcome. Um, I'm supposed to quit on the seventh day. Um, I don't know how that's going to go. Like I said, I'm still smoking. Um, and again, yes, I smoke outside, away from my child. I come in, I wash my hands, I wash out my mouth with the regular Listerine. Um, because I hate it. I really do hate it. I hate being a smoker. So, anyway, just wanted to do another vlog update how things are going. I still haven't gotten in back into my schoolwork. Um, I really need to, and I'm going to try. Um, I'll do another vlog later or within a couple days, maybe sooner than that. You guys take care, and have a wonderful day. Bye.